Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So in this one here, I want to talk about John Bernthal because there's apparently a rumor out there right now that he may be in one of the Rick Grimes movies. And so I want to talk about that, give my thoughts on all of that, and just discuss how it could happen and I guess the impact it could have on the Rick Grimes movie. So of course, before going any further, obviously this will contain spoilers for season 10 of The Walking Dead, which I also do want to say we're at least getting through this pretty quickly because it's been over a month now. It's, I think it's like a month and a week since episode 15 aired, so we're, we're getting through this. I apologize for being away for the last week or so. I just decided to take a little bit of a break because I got really hectic there with The Walking Dead stuff and... There's not too much news out there, to be honest. There's things here and there. There are a lot of things that I do want to talk about. I have about 10 to 15 videos planned that I kind of just keep pushing off because, I mean, if I did all of them right now, then I would have nothing to talk about. I mean, I guess other news could come out. I'm sure I'd think of something, but... Since things are a little more relaxed right now, I'll talk about things as they come up. I'll, po I'll post those videos here and there. I actually want to talk about Outlander. I don't know if any of you guys have ever watched that show, but I am so hyped for this show. The finale aired last night, and so I want to do a video on that. I just want to get my thoughts on the story, the finale, what to expect from season six and stuff. And so, yeah, if you want to hear more of that, just expect that video coming out very soon. Anyways, we're getting very close to the finale. We're getting closer and closer. I'm sure this finale is going to be airing in September or in October. October for sure, so we're like, what, five months away but even before that, we're going to get through The Walking Dead Season 6, and there's also World Beyond, so we'll have some type of Walking Dead content to talk about, right? Like, they're apparently supposed to be starting filming this month. At the very end of May, they're supposed to start filming, which I really doubt as of now, but I'm sure they're going to update us then, right, on, on what's going on, whether or not they're gonna, it's pushed back to, like, June or until July or whatever. The point is, we're kind of getting over that boring part, and we're getting more into the stuff that's getting a little more interesting because stuff will start to come out and things are going to start moving. But what I want to talk about is obviously John Bernthal and whether or not he's going to be in this Rick Grimes movie. Now, I got this from NME. I'll leave a link down below to the article if you want to check it out, but they're saying that John Bernthal will reportedly return for the Walking Dead movies. And obviously, if he does return, it's going to be as a flashback or a hallucination as, as sorts, just because, I mean, he's been dead for years now, right? There's no way he'd be coming back. I don't know how credible this is, because when you're reading their article, they got this here from We Got This Covered. And We Got This Covered is... I don't want to say they're wrong all the time, they're not. I actually don't even know how credible they are at all. I don't know if they're really not credible or if they're just very, very credible. I have no idea. All I know is just based off of one thing that they said last year or something about King Ezekiel, him dying in the season 9 finale or early on in season 10 or something like that, that didn't really turn out to be true, obviously, because he is still around. Now, maybe they heard something about a, a future storyline where he does get, obviously, right now he has cancer, right? So maybe they heard something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I just think in general right now with this type of story, it's not really that, that I guess, shocking, right, to think that John Bernthal could come back. So whether or not they're right or wrong with this, it's also just pretty obvious. Because the way I see it, the Rick Grimes movies, like, I don't see Andrew Lincoln ever coming back to The Walking Dead show. I think there's a possibility if the show is planning on ending at some point, and depending on where the Rick Grimes movies are at, he comes back for like one last episode, one final season or last couple of episodes, and some type of arc, and some type of story, and, and everything just goes full circle, and it's done. The entire Walking Dead story is done. I can see that happening, but because I don't know if they're ever going to end the show in that way, and because we're getting these three movies, apparently, I think there's a pretty good chance that these Walking Dead movies will end Rick Grimes' story. And so, to bring back other cast members makes a lot of sense, right? Like, John Bernthal coming back for this, that obviously makes a lot of sense. And I think there's a possibility here to bring back a lot of other characters, too, that we wanted to see. Like, a lot of people got mad when they didn't bring back, like, Lori or Carl for Rick's final episode. Now, I do also Glenn, too, but I do like the explanation for that because, you know, he was hallucinating the characters that mattered a lot to him, but also would egg him on and to, you know, to be like, no, you keep fighting. You stay alive. Go find your family. Your family's not here. Your family's over there. You have a new family now. You keep them alive. You, you know, because if he saw Laurie and Carl in his hallucinations, like what they said was he would just go to them. He wouldn't want to leave in those hallucinations. He would be like, I want to stay here with Lori. I want to stay here with Carl. And so that's why we never saw them, because it, it would have been too much, and Rick never would have left them, obviously. And I love that. I love that, because it just shows his dedication to those two characters, to their original season, to that, to that storyline back then, right? 
And so we saw characters like Shane, like Herschel, and like Sasha for some reason. I still think Glenn would have worked better there, but I'm pretty sure uh, the actor was busy during that. So, But in these Rick Grimes movies, you can bring them back. You can definitely bring all those characters back in a different way where maybe what Rick's dreaming about them, maybe he's hallucinating in some way, but it doesn't. it's not in a way that's going to danger him or endanger him. So I think that would be very smart. And I actually think that's probably going to be how they bring John Bernthal back is it's going to be in a hallucination in some sense. It would be nice if it was a flashback. It really would be nice if it was a flashback. I actually would really like if it was a what-if scenario because the thing about hallucinations is we've been getting them so much lately and they're a lot of fun. Like, don't get me wrong, they're a lot of fun. But it's also just a, a lot. You know, like, I like the one with Carol and Alpha, the one that happened in episode 14. But it also was just a lot to get that. It doesn't feel real. Like, if we're seeing these characters constantly popping up. But to get some type of what-if scenario where you bring these characters back. Like what, what, like, what if these things never happened and life just went on in this way? So Rick could be dreaming about, what if Shane never died? And we, we just see Shane and Rick, they're like best of buddies now. They're all old men or something like that. And things are just better. Maybe, you know, Lori's around. Rick is with Lori. Or I don't even know how that would go. Maybe they would do it where Rick ended up with Michonne anyways, but now Lori is just with Shane. Because Rick and Lori were probably going to break up at some point anyways, right? So maybe it ended up that way where Lori was just with Shane and Rick ended up with Michonne anyways. Judith is just fully grown now. I don't know how it could have worked out, to be honest, but they could show a happy picture like that. And also where we see Carl, he's fully grown now. He's not a little kid anymore. Glenn and all that stuff. I think they could definitely have a scenario or a what if scenario play out in the movies. And I'm just thinking of that because of Outlander. They did something like that last night and I thought that was so cool. They brought back a couple of dead characters which i just yeah i just found that really amazing it's it's emotional and if it's done right like it was done in last night's episode of outlander then i i really think it can work so as for uh, on the john bernthal thing like it, it does seem like this probably is going to happen just because it makes a lot of sense i don't know what john bernthal's up to lately i mean i, I don't even know if anyone's really doing anything because of what's going on right now but this could definitely be a possibility because he would just be showing up on set for a few days i'm sure and just to do something. It might not even be a part of this first movie. It might be a part of the second or even the third movie, right? I just think that you want to have everyone there for Rick's final story, for, I guess, just to celebrate the character in general. I think we would have got that. Honestly, I really think we would have got something like that if Andrew Lincoln was for sure done with the Rick Grimes after he left season in season nine. If these movies weren't planned or anything like that, I think we would have gotten that. But because these movies were planned, there was going to be more Rick Grimes story to tell. They were like, well, we'll just wait on the celebration of the character. We'll wait for a bit, right? So as for whether or not this news is credible, obviously this is just a rumor. So just take it with a grain of sand, salt, whatever the saying is. But this is just, it's not unbelievable, right? Like this definitely makes a lot of sense. If they said that John Bernthal was getting his own movie, I'd be like, okay, calm down. <laughs> That makes no sense. I mean, that would be really cool if it could happen in some way, but we've already seen all of Shane's story. There's nothing really to tell. The most interesting part was what we saw in season one and two. There's a little bit of stuff that happened like right in the very beginning of the apocalypse, that month there, what he did with Rick. Maybe they can change it where there was a different motive, blah, blah, blah. But there's still no like big story to it, no big reveal. It's just not a story worth telling, in my opinion. I think the only way to bring this character back is in stuff like this with the Rick Grimes movies. And I actually think in general, the only way to bring back John Bernthal really is with connection to Rick, because he wasn't really that close with Daryl. Daryl was just someone that, I mean, honestly, I don't think Shane really liked Daryl too much. I'm sure he was cool with him and all that, but they weren't like best of friends. Like Shane was always tied to Rick all the time. That was his storyline. There really is just no point in ever bringing that up. Although it would be kind of cool if one day, although I feel like that could never happen now, but if Judith ever brings up who her real father is, because I don't even think she knows, first of all, but there is no one to tell her right now. Because who would have told, I guess, Daryl or anyone? I don't think anyone. Maybe Daryl might just know, but I don't think Daryl's ever going to tell Judith that. I think Daryl's like, no, your father is Rick. That's what kind of sucks about Carl dying and stuff is that there's no connection to like Lori and Shane and to all of that. There's no one to tell Judith about all of these things. Rick and Michonne could, but not even Michonne, because Michonne never really knew Lori too much. She never knew Shane ever. And obviously Rick could tell that, but I don't think we'll ever get something. Like, I really don't think we'll ever see that because if Judith ever goes to the Rick movies, it's going to be for a specific purpose of a, a reunion, saving Rick, or maybe he dies or it's something, you know, we're not going to get this whole in-depth story. So yeah, I don't know. But I do find it interesting, this this whole entire Shane thing. I, I do think it could work. I think this is way more probable 
than the the Daryl Dixon movie that people are, are, are that's I guess been floating around the rumor out there right now. But overall, I'm excited for this, and I hope it does happen. And yeah, I just can't wait to learn more stuff about the Rick Krams movie because it's been a very long time. The only news we've really gotten in the last year was that the script is basically almost done. And besides that, I think there's. Well, there's the announcement or that little teaser last summer of that, you know, that Rick was the, the movies were going to be in theaters. I don't know why I can't talk today. but So, yeah, hopefully something soon. I, I imagine probably nothing until like the fall. And I think that'd be kind of I'd be sad because that literally in November, if we don't find out anything until November, it'll, it'll have been two years since Rick left before we got anything. I thought we'd get that movie at least by then for sure. A trailer or something two years from that date, but nothing yet. This movie is definitely not coming out this year, and next year, I really don't even see it coming out next year, to be honest. I think this is going to be a 2022 or 2023 thing. But post your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking about all of this stuff. Do you think John Bernthal could come back for the Walking Dead movies? Despite whether or not this is just, you know, it's credible or not, like, do you think it makes a lot of sense? Post all your thoughts down below. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.